We lived in Fendleton. Of course, then um, there were five cinemas round Cathedral Square. And when the whistle blew at five o'clock, the, the bicyclists came sweeping out five abreast. One of the treats we had in those days was to be taken in in the evening and see all the lights. Because Cathedral Square was lit with neon lighting round the cinemas. So it was a, um, a compact city, a central city at that stage. Of course, we were not allowed to go into the city. To go into the city required a written approval from one's housemaster. Sign permission from one's housemaster. We got quite good at signing his signature. <laughs> In the February earthquake, a great cloud of dust rose over the, what clearly was the um, art centre. And beyond that was Christ College. I hastened round to see what had happened. And there, thank God, were all the uh, boys standing on the quadrangle. And nobody had been hurt. I'd gone past the art centre and it um, clearly had suffered considerable damage. By this time I'd got to Worcester Street and I could look right down Worcester Street and there was no cathedral at the end of it, or no spire. So I went along Gloucester to see what had happened at the town hall, and it was all standing. Thank God for that. You might say the neo-Gothic heritage of, of Christchurch has stood, or has been splendidly restored. New city. It's really quite a delight to go along Cambridge and Oxford Terrace and seeing what is being built. When did you last visit Christchurch?